tonight was a definite hard fought battle with a, a good defensive team in Kaiser. Uh, we know every time we play them, they run multiple sets on defense, which makes it very difficult to score points. Um, but we, going towards the second quarter, more towards the second quarter, I think we settled down, got into running our offense a little bit more, getting into the sets that we want. Uh, we still weren't as efficient as I thought we should be. Uh, we missed a couple layups. We had seven missed layups this game, which can cost us against other games. So I, I believe our speech all week of just persevering, keep fighting through, keep fighting through, fighting to the end and see where the game will come from made a difference today because usually we'll get down and then we'll get away from our offense and we'll get individual play rather than team play. But tonight we play very well as a team offensively. Defensively, I think we did a, a very good job. Uh, against a team that we had a lot of mismatch problems with uh, on the inside. Uh, we took them out of their game with that and forced them to play an outside game, and I think that helped us uh, a lot in this game. So I'm proud of the way we played. We, we actually out-rebounded somebody for the first time in a long time, so I was definitely proud of that. And, you know, the 40 points we scored in the paint well, was exceptional tonight because we were lacking that for the past couple games. Coach, a uh, trend has been that when this team has gotten multiple, multiple contributions from multiple players, it's had yes. tangible success. And you see that tonight with four players and double figures. Uh, did you do anything offensively, schematically, to kind of get up more players involved, to kind of get them in positions to score? Actually, no, we didn't. We, we knew what we have, and if we look at the film, we kept showing the films what we did differently of the players that were on the bench and showing that we need to get contribution from you that, you know, when they're trying to take away our one, two, and three players, our four, five, six, and seven players have to step up. And we, we showed them that this is the spot you get to, this is the shot that you take. They take that away, this is the shot that you take. So I think us just trying to simplify it more for them made it a little bit easier for them and what we're doing. And then we went to more isolation uh, sets inside of our place. So instead of them trying to rely on ISIS or Gamble or somebody else, we actually, as you saw, we isolated Ixa, our freshman, a little bit more. And we said, hey, you got to finish. We're going to keep going to you. So I think that took a little pressure off our main players but also gave her a little bit of confidence. And once she got going tonight, I think the other players realized, ooh, Ix is going, so I need to do something when I get in there. And Daniel Bailey just finally came around as a senior that we've been pushing for all year long. And, you know, second lead score was 16. She played an exceptional game defensively and offensively. She played really well. And then ISIS being ISIS is what you expect from a mm -hmm. senior or somebody with yeah. a, a, level, a skill level. Uh, talk about her play. I mean, I know this is the second game back. I know mm -hmm. she had some time. What did you see out of her that you liked tonight? What I saw out of her tonight that she, at the beginning, she was pressing a little bit. She does that a lot if we're not scoring. And we had a talk with her at halftime just to settle down. And we wanted her to get in the middle. She had to know that she can dominate from the middle. And she likes to play on that three-point line. But we forced her this week to go in the middle. And, that, and it's so funny. I told her, if you go in the middle, you're going to have 20-plus points. She had 21. Only got about one. She could have had more. But she's a dominant player inside-outside. But she first had to establish the inside first then move outside and she did that once she did that we went to our iso sets with her i just knew that they're not going to be able to stop her going to the run uh, peculiar and want to just kind of get your perspective on it uh, they tied kaiser ties the game at 68 and it's your possession and they decide to come out still press and start to double mm -hmm. and it opens an uh, open lane for a layup for uh for florida memorial to win mm -hmm. did you ex kind of anticipate that is that something maybe that kaiser does or I know that they press a lot. Um, when they came out and they came, and that's why I put in the press break. When they came out in the press, I was surprised. I thought they would drop back to a three-quarter press, to be honest with you. But when they came out with that, I was like, well, let's see what happens. And, <laughs> and it worked out. <laughs> so what does this one do? I mean, it's obviously, it's the conference run. Still kind of, still pretty much control your own destiny. What does this one win? Can this one be kind of that one that maybe gets us to We We hope so. Uh, we 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 finished the first half of our schedule. That was the last team that we had to play. So now we got to play everybody else again. So we've been telling our players, we control our own destiny. We got to run the table, go on the other side. We still can finish second uh, in the conference. First is going to be hard. Southeastern, they're undefeated. I just don't see them losing four or five games. But we can do what we can do to control our destiny, get where we needed to go. And that's starting with this win today. We get Warner on Thursday. It's a tough place to play at Warner. They're, they're a well-coached team. I know people look at it and see that they don't have they have zero losses, but all their games have been close. The team is playing better, and we're playing at their place. So that's a game that we have to get. So we get Warner, um, then we just keep going where we need to go because now everybody has to play everybody. We got to play everybody. We split with everybody. See where the chips fall. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. All right, thank you.